Hello, welcome. In this video, we're looking at simple interest and we're focusing on finding the principal when we're given our time value in months. So take a moment and read this problem, give it a shot, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so let's read the question. It says, how much principal must be deposited, that means put into an account, to earn, let's highlight this, $1,880 of simple interest in how much? 31 months. Okay, at a rate of 6%, we're going to round our answer to the nearest cent. So that's hundredth in decimal form. Okay, and we're omitting our dollar sign in the answer. All right, well, with simple interest, let's pull up our formula that we use in these problems, which says interest equals principal times the rate of interest times the time. So the amount of interest equals the principal value, the starting value of the account, times the rate of the interest and multiply by the time. Some of the assumptions here are that our rate will be in decimal form. So let's look at that first. The rate is 6%. So 6% means 6 out of what? Out of 100, right? So that is 6 divided by 100 uh, is 0 0.06. All right, so we can start entering that part into our formula. We don't know the p-value. We don't know the principal. We're, we're not given that amount, right? Our focus here is to find the principal, in fact. So this is missing, right? It says how much principal. All right, what else, do we look, what else do we have here? We've got the amount of interest. So that's what we're told here. We're, we're told this is I, right? This is T in months. Let me actually... Hold off on that. This is I, this is our interest rate, and then R we already label, we already identify, but I'm gonna label it right here. Okay, so the amount of interest is $1,880. Okay, but the time here, the time of the assumption is the time in this formula is in years. So here we've got 31 months. So we wanna think, what is that in terms of years? Well, there's 31 uh, months right, in total, and there are 12 months per year. So this ratio will tell us how many years that we're dealing with. So it's the amounts of months you're given out of the months in a year. Okay, so now what are we doing? We're solving for P. So one way to think about this is you can rewrite this equation or solve P. You can multiply these two th things right here, 0 0.06 times 31 over 12, you'll get a number, and then divide both sides by that value. So let's do that. So, um, and in fact, you know what? I don't want to multiply these two. Let me show you why. I mean, it might work out nicely, but let's see. 0.06 times, you can enter a fraction on a calculator. I'm going to put parentheses, and I recommend you do that too, as 31 divided by 12. Or you can just calculate 31 over 12, hit enter, and then use that value. Okay, it's not so bad. Sometimes you get a really nasty decimal here, and you might not want to write it out like a repeating decimal. So what I recommend is to uh, consider just writing this. You're gonna divide both sides of your equation, you're solving for P, by this product. That means these two factors multiplied. And watch why we're gonna do this. That says 31. And we're doing this on both sides of our equation, so it's gonna be a little sloppy for a moment. Let's move it over. We're gonna divide 1880 by that same product. So 0 0.06 times 31 over 12, just bear with me. Now if you knew you were doing this, you could just kind of write out that P equals this ratio right here, because what's gonna always happen on this side is these two things are going to divide to one, they're equal. Whatever that product is, they're the same thing. And by dividing by it, that cancels out to one. So you could just basically skip to this step right here. Oops, we don't wanna write in red. Keep your color coding, Sean. Hang in there. All right. P equals, it's going to equal this ratio. 1880 over 0 0.06 times 31 over 12. And this will be our principal. So often you might skip from this step to here. Just solve for P. And what do we get? Well, let's do the math. Now, when you do this division here, you want to be careful. Uh, you want to enter, say, 1880. And then when you divide by these two factors, make sure you put them in parentheses. Or make sure you calculate what they equal first, and then divide 1880 by that value. So I'll show you how to do that as well. Uh, times 
parentheses again for that fraction, 31 over 12, and then close those parentheses. We have two sets of parentheses there, and this is our principle. 12, 1, 2, 9, 0, 3. 12, 1, 2, 9, 0, 3. So if we invest this principal amount in the account for 31 months at 6% interest, we uh, a rate of 6% simple interest, we would have a total of $1,880 of interest, which you can plug in and test out. Take this principal, multiply it by 31 over 12 times 0 0.06, and you should get this value up here. It's a good practice to get into. And in general, what's happening here for these kind of problems, let me just zoom up a little bit here. If, you, if you're looking at this and you want a separate formula for the situation, in this situation here, you're given principal is always equal to what? The 1880, that's your interest amount. So that's going to be I over, that I looks sloppy. We can do better. I there over 0 0.06, so the rate, right? 0 0.06 is this rate right here times, this is the time essentially. But just keep in mind that to get that time, if you're given it in months, you want to divide it by 12. So this is our formula for finding principal, which is just based on this formula right here. All right, I hope that helped.